Okay, let us continue. Uh, let x be a discrete random variable with the following PMF. Um, so it has small parts. One find the range. P find the x is greater or equal to 1.5. Uh, 3 x is be, uh, greater than 0, less than 2, uh, 4. Okay. So this one is a, should be pretty simple, right? So first one, a range is going to be 0, 1, and 2. 2 is, uh, this is greater or equal to 1.5. So it's your only, it's when Basically, is it equals to x equals two, right? Which is one over six. Three. What is the probability of this one? So, as you can see, this is probability when x equals one, which is a third. And then, the fourth one, conditional probability, right? So it's a uh, So equals and over. Okay. So as you can see that this and this part don't use it. Right. And then over the probability of less than two, which is when x equals one or zero. So this which is gonna be one over two over one over two plus one over three then yeah so it's uh E V two Three over plus two. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Uh, this problem is uh, easy. Okay. All right. Next one. This might be a little bit more. So we have to. independent discrete random variables with the uh, following PMF okay let me drink some water <coughs> as you can see for the range for X and Y is both 1 to 4 right but they have the different uh, PMF. Part one, it asks us, okay, find the the prob probability that x is less or equal than two and y is less or equal than two. First of all, this is a To independent random variable. So when we do that, realizing that uh, this end we can write as the product. Okay. That's the first piece. Uh, two or and then three is a condition of probability four, which is a uh, find the probability that when x less than y. Okay, so well, let's see. <coughs> For the first one, so this equals to p x less or equal than two times p y less or equal than two, and the probability that when x 
it's less or equal than 2 contains only those two ranges. So it's going to be 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. This one times is so when y equals 1 is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6. Okay, so you can you can finish the calculation here. 2. The find the prob probability that x is greater than 2 or uh, y is uh, greater than 2. Okay. So for this part, since those two are uh, independent, and uh, remember that we have what we call the inclusion-exclusion principle. So that is uh, P A union B equals to P A plus P B minus P A uh, intersect, right? So in this problem two, we can derive that P X is greater than two or Y is greater than two can be written as the probability that X is greater than two plus the probability that Y is greater than two and then minus the probability that X is greater than two and y is greater than 2 here. Okay, so uh, so right now we see that the probability that x is greater than 2 we only have when x is 3 or 4. So it's uh, 1 over 8 plus 1 over 2. Okay, that's 1 over 8 plus 1 over 2 plus the probability that y is strictly greater than 2 uh, which also include those two cases which is k y equals 3 and y equals 4 it's both a third so it's a two thirds okay and for this part which is uh, uh, the probability of this is greater than 2 and this is greater than 2 don't you agree? It's it's the uh, product of so this minus uh, one over eight plus one over two times three half. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's how do we handle this one? And of course, you can uh, you can simplify this, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Here, um, you know, as long as you know how to handle this, the rest part is simple. Three, uh, the conditional probability, right? So um, Px is greater than 2 given that y is greater than 2. So it's a Px is greater than 2 uh, and y is greater than 2 over P of y is greater than 2. Uh, we already know this, right? From uh, Step three, right? And then we can also uh, to do that, but so that's one way, you know. But also, I want you to really think about it. One more thing is, uh, so there is nothing wrong with this, okay? So you can do uh, so. It's a one over eight plus one over two times two thirds, and then over. Remember the probability of y is greater than two which is also two thirds, uh, which realizing that you can see it's one over eight plus one over two only, uh, which is the probability of x is greater than two. Why is that? This equals greater than two. Why is that? Well, because x and y are independent. Okay, are independent, and then so we know that if uh, you have two random variables um, as in the independent, and then the conditional probability, you know, you can just get rid of this condition. So yeah, so that's why. That's how we get three. Step four, uh, the probability of x is less than one. This is a new paper. 
to to drive this. This actually include uh, um, a good number uh, because the probability of x is less than y. Uh, what we can do here is uh, we can uh, use the uh, law of the probability because y is uh, from 1 to 4, right? So you don't have those four cases here. So what we can do is uh, we have a summation of the plus a y given that y equals k k is from 1 to 4 and also times p y equals k right so, so that's that can include all the cases here so you see this is what we call law of the total which is very uh, useful for a lot of cases here um, right so that so that include uh, everything so given that uh, y uh, so what is conditional probability times that and then add all the cases together that will give us this law of total probability and uh, noticing that when uh, y equals 1 and then the probability of x is less than 1 don't you agree it's going to be 0 right it's going to be 0 so when k equals 1 so this part it's a 0 um, of course this this part is uh, when uh, k equals 1 so this is uh, uh, right here which is 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 plus when k equals 2 uh, so you can see that it's uh, the probability that x is less than 2 given that y is 2 times the probability um, of 2 right uh, y equals 2 here so uh, thus the probability that uh, remember those two why we want to use this because uh, to compute this condition of probability since those two are independent so we can just need to calculate this piece so, so that is the main advantage and that's why we use this and then plus uh, less than 3 right y equal 3 times the p y equal 3 plus less than 4 uh, and then y equals 4 uh, and then that that's that's pretty much everything so for this one so f the first part is still same plus this probability uh, which is probability of x less than 2 which is this probability of x equals 1 which is 1 over 4 right? this 1 over 4 times the probability that y equals 2 which is y over 6 okay G moving to here is which is the what is the probability that x is less than 3 it in it include when x equals 1 or 2 so it's 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 okay so it's 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 times what is the probability that y equals 3 uh, which as you recall it's 1 over 3 that's 1 over 3 and then plus what is the probability when x is less than 4 which is 1 2 3 right so it's a 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 so 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 and then time the probability that y equals 4 which is uh, another 1 over 3 and then uh, there you go.
that 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 that's it. Okay. Of course, you can uh, finish the calculation, um, you know, by yourself. But you got the left the idea. I'll give you that idea. Okay. So so yeah. So the law of the uh, total probability it is extremely important okay for solving uh, a lot of problems so I'll stop here